Hello, good morning, everyone. I want to, organize, uh, to thank the organizers to invite me to this conference. And I think it's so important, this idea of building bridges. I will apologize for my lousy English. Mm? This paper analyzes the process of historical development of feminism in Argentina and intends to characterize our society to find the keys to the problems discussed by various feminist currents today. The, th the, third thing, the first thing I have to say that is that to build bridges, we have to know each other. Mm? We have to know as feminists of different regions of the world, different countries and different problematics. So that's why I'm going to uh, expose what is the history of uh, fem uh, Argentinian fe feminism in my country. I will structure my presentation in three blocks, historical context and a short description of feminist struggle today, focusing in on shared consensus and difference. Finally, I will make some suggestions of a specific problems for the dialogue between feminist global uh, movement. Mm? My framework, uh, framework resumes in a critical and orthodox way contributions of historical materialism and the formation of social classes in shaping the Argentinian state. Mm? As feminists, we believe we must be able to make a critical analysis of our own history as a country and as a region, a scenario in which our feminist practice develop, uh, and develops. Uh, white, indigenous, and black women fought against Spanish colonialism domination in South America, previous the formation of the national states in the um, 18th and 19th century. They were forgotten until now. Uh, the Argentinian states was created on the basis of Republican uh, on the basis of Republican genocide in late 19th century. It doesn't come? Ah, there. Uh, the great-grandchildren of those who's, who appropriated indigenous land are now in the neoliberal gov uh, neo government with Mauricio Macri. No, there are histories and uh, families that uh, connected. No, the past, as, as you see, Argentina was only one third of the territory when it uh, took place the construction of the Republican genocide and the Republican state. The rest were uh, indigenous territory. So Argentina joins the international context as agricultural and primary exporter, land owner, ag uh, oligarchy, allies with British and French capitals, donated land and free labor force of indigenous men and women, of course, all of them were raped in, in during the, those uh, military campaigns to take over their lands and uh, were distributed as servants. And the external debt begun. Argentina capitalism will develop not necessarily on basis of pay labor relations of productions. The analysis of development capitalism in the central countries and the class struggle is incomplete if it's not taking into account its relations with peripheral, peripheral countries' domination and colonialism. Uh, a few months ago, I went to the Amazon River to Iquitos in Peru, and I saw horrible photos of Firestone and Henry Ford the most uh, developed capitalism with all those Indians that were uh, uh, taken away, they, were, they committed genocide of many Amazon uh, people to, uh, to have the caucho, I don't know, the rubber. Hmm? Mm -hmm. the, oligar the oligarchic Republican state rewrites the history of Argentina, denying the existence of indiv indigenous people. Since then, this is going to be the hegemonic collective national representation that is shared by all classes that Argentinian descend from the boats and are European origin and white. This will be the matrix 
racist matrix that remains until today, even to the feminist movement. But things are changing. The first feminists were the urban, mm, uh, that's the uh, dominant block. The first feminists were urban and European origin. They were first universitarian and medicals, were very much worried about trafficking of women from East Europe and fought for civilian and political women's rights. However, there were clear differences of classes and origin among women where color and origin separated them, even among women in the poorest strata of working classes, and also between the problems, uh, the problems of urban and rural women. Hmm? Uh, a very complicated and difficult period to understand in Argentina is a Peronist period of 40s and 50s, in terms of social and political classes, a new historical uh, block arises, which replaces the political power of oligarchy and uh, the liberal oligarchy, pro-British and pro-United States bloc. The historical bloc will be based on the alliance of organizing, organized working classes, the national business uh, bourgeois, and the nationalist uh, sector of the armed forms in the social uh, and a set of social forces uh, as internal migrants called by the urban middle classes black heads. In this time, the welfare state will be constructed. In terms of feminism and social and political status uh, of women, this period represents a paradox. With a patriarchal and anti-feminist discourse is the time when women workers have greater mass political prominence and gain important social, labor, and political rights. The figure, the figure of Eva Perón, we will the most controversial, the most hated by the upper classes, and the most loved by the workers, using a speech based on loyalty to the leader and appalling to the status of women, mothers, and wives, held completely transgressive practice for the time. Uh, for this example, the femi uh, female suffrage in 1945. And she even, with another woman, uh, formed the feminist, the, fem the female Peronist party against the men of their own party. The socialist and communist feminists in this time they do, did not understand these social changes and racism prevail over fe feminist solidarity with workers, poor and indigenous women that supported Evita and found dignity. They allied along with the Communist Party with the upper class feminist and the right wing with the USA support. In, 19, um, in 1955, a military pub expelled from the political power, the second Peronist government, democratically elected uh, between uh, 1955 and 1973, will be a series of weak civilian governments and military cups. In this period of political tur turbulence between 1966 and 1976 also arose another complex situation. All the women will have a strong political role in various student labor political organizations, include, including, including armed organizations, which generates important changes in social practice of gender generation, uh, relations, such as a, a, a rupture with the form of traditional monogamous family contracept, uh, contraceptive use, the practice of abortion, the relatively shared parenting of children, the advancement of women in the university environment. All of this without questioning in theory uh, patriarchal relations with a few exceptions. Dus during this uh, period, feminists were a minority, minority media sector related with the North American and European uh, theorist mass, most of which really uh, generally had no political involvement in the prostate uh, and struggle for issues such as social justice, political sovereignty, economic independence, taking power, and socialism. 
March 20, uh, 1976 begins the genocide state. The objectives had, uh, they had were the destruction of all popular resistance a reorganization, and the reorganization of social relations of production to impose a never, never neoliberal economic model articulated with international capital. Again, women embracing feminine symbols such as maternity face the powerful. The only who dare to publicly confront uh, the dictatorship will be mothers and grandmothers without uh, questioning a patriarchy. It's only when democracy is taken up in 1984 which develops new feminist streams incorporating historical political experience and feminist th theoretical re reflections. Analyzing our story, we see how many times as we traditional, with traditional female speech and, this, uh, and uh, but transgressive practices will be taken forward the political and social status of, of women. This leads us to rethink the needs to different ideological discourses, or often recalcitrant and sectarians, I don't know how you say sectarian. <laughs> sectarian, with the importance of practice and experience and the notion that changes is a process. Afterwards, we realize that then practice and reflections will converge in new generations and new practice that facilitates development of new theoret theoretical discourse, discourses that will make Marxist feminism grow and develop. Uh, um, then the first national meeting has, was held in the city of Buenos Aires and, prom and was promoted by women, many of us uh, militant of the 60s and the 70s, uh, that uh, embrace um, um, feminist uh, theory. Hmm? And this, they will be crucial as a mechanism of dissemination uh, and discussion of the problem of women across the country. And right now is taking place the number 30 uh, uh, women's uh, national meeting in Rosario and more than um, 18,000 women are going to participate there and from the uh, uh, popular organizations and feminist organizations and well. Feminists today can be characterized by increasing participation of youth uh, and growth of popular organizations with important leaderships of feminist women, a significant development of the issue of sexual diver diversity and identities of, uh, of gender, and several men began to publicly assume as a feminist. Uh, peasant women, women from Paraguay and Bolivia, and some indigenous women, participate integrated into the political and popular organizations. These organizations revolve, revolve around claims of territory, natural resources, social, economic, and uh, respect for ethnic, ethnic identity claims. They are also some uh, organizations of black women and migrant women, all of them have incorporated gender equality, respect of sexual and gender diversity, diversity claims, and, there, and in them the leadership of women are very strong. And it's important to say that uh, there is a, um, a stream of gen uh, poor gender di diversity that is very important, and most of the popular organizations incorporated this topic without many discussions or theoretical discussion, only say, suffer, we suffer persecution, we suffer repression, and they say, well, come with us and struggle with us. Feminist streams today, the topics of struggle unites feminists uh, theoretical, uh, uh, the topics of struggle unites feminist. Theoretical approaches and political orientations differ substantially and divide feminists. 
feminist uh, organizations that have a presence in the protest are, and are engaged in activities of interpolation to the uh, pa uh, power states or state powers can be divided in two large blocks only for uh, reasons of time. Those organizations that identify themselves as national and popular feminism and those who identify themselves uh, at, as left. But we in the uh, uh, national and popular feminism, we also identify ourselves as, left, as the left wing. We are this, there are Marxists in both blocks, no? The, Mm -hmm. uh, the demands and, uh, and agreements are uh, the fight against gender violence, femicides uh, are, uh, take place in all social classes in Argentina, combating trafficking in person for sexual and labor exploitation, and uh, comb uh, combating national and international trafficking, the debate around prostitution and sex, sex work uh, eight, uh, are, we are almost are all are abolitionists. The right to legal and safe and free abortion and, and the recognition of sexually of sexual diversity and diverse se genders identities. Disagreement. The, disag the main disagreements come from the feminist organization, political secondments, social bases, language, the categories used for the analysis of reality, the conception of movement versus political uh, or small, very rigid or, uh, parties or feminist organizations, but mainly uh, from the, its relationships, its relationship with the state and the period of the, uh, the Kirchner government from uh, 2003 and 2015. The left all declare themselves Marxists. Today, the largest group are the Trotskyists, Bear, Trotskyists Bread and Roses, and the Reds. They maintain a strong opposition and criticism of the Kirchner period. There are other feminist non-Trotskyists, but uh, just I'm going to mention the Rebel Scarf uh, uh, and Las Azucenas, uh, but there is no time to discuss this, maybe later. National and, populous, and popular feminism, which I belong, emerged as a resurgence of the less wind Peronism movement extended, destroyed in the repression of, uh, uh, of the dictatorship. Our root comes from the nice silence and subaltern histories we confront with the most concentrated economic power and also struggle against cultural hegemony that imagine Argentina as a white European country. And more, many of us are Marxist. Uh, um, um, some of the most important uh, movements are Evita, mo uh, Women's Movement, National and Popular Women Front, the Tupac Amaru organization that we are going to see that the uh, women's leader of this organization are in jail now, peasant and indigenous national movement in Argentina. The national issue means an anti-transnational financial capitalism position. Unlike the central countries, the national here also involve or a Latin American is conception of patria grande. So Brazil, Bolivia, and all uh, uh, Central America are our countries. The integration of people and countries against the integration of free trades. Alca versus Alba versus Alca. Unasur and Selac versus OEA. The expanded Mercosur that includes Venezuela, includes Venezuela and Chile versus the Pacific Alliance that they are trying to impose now. The popular issue is, a more, than a working, is more than a working class. It's a subaltern historical block. It is an identity that is constructed and reconstructed all the time, but historically. All support 
uh, all this block supported the Kirchnerist policies, so, uh, then um, um, I don't have time to tell you all the policies that we supported, but some of them that were very important for the women was uh, the, um, um, the pension for a housewife women that was a, a way of may, uh, putting in value the free uh, labor of women in their houses. And the other most important thing was a, a law for the domestic persons that work at, uh, in the domestic in houses. And this also benefited a, long, a large number of women. No? Um, some uh, consider uh, Christina, uh, some consider Christina as a natural leader, or and others uh, gave, give our support critically. Um, today, with the triumph of the neoliberal right, many of these achievements are receding, are, are in danger, and real danger. I can only say that it's horrible what is happening. The same thing probably is going to speak uh, my colleague from Brazil. The hegemonic press lies and lies. It's the return of the repression and the presence of the United, United States power. Now, we, ha we, are the po we have political women in, in jail, as Milagro Sala, you have there, poor and indigenous leader, and other seven women of the most important popular organization to Pacamaru uh, in the north of Argentina. Then I have some material who wants to know more about this. We are very worried what is happening with uh, Argentina, but also about Brazil, Bolivia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Colombia, Honduras, and all the regions. And of course, we are very worried about the presence of what is happening in the sub-Saharan uh, uh, black African continent, there are some migrants that are coming to Argentina. Um, uh, in March, two months after this uh, right-wing government uh, took place uh, by elections, uh, there w it was killed the most important leader of Senegalese migrants uh, who held uh, protection for those uh, Senegalese uh, migrant people, no? Uh, well, th there you have uh, Milagro Salas. It, it's, it's a huge uh, and important uh, popular organization. They, uh, those uh, flags that, that color flags are the Guipala. Those are the, uh, the Guipala is the uh, uh, indigenous people flag of South America, and they use that with the rainbow flag of the diversity, no? so, and they in, uh, incorporated uh, diversity, poor diversity, in a way, very, very easily way. Hmm? And well, no, um, well uh, I use this dialogue, I, I pro have some proposed uh, propositions, no propose uh, for the dialogue between. I am going to use the nickname <laughs> of global and North feminist because it's the, the way of resuming. But I I, I, I agree with you. Uh, but these are only just to mention some concerns we have. No, for example, uh, subrogancy. Uh, we think as feminists that organ donation, blood and semen, uh, they have to be solidary actions, no? The rights to maternity versus the international adoption that always creates black market. And this is not a theoretical thing. Uh, I, I, I've been working in this painful uh, way with women. No? The method used for children ranging from the use of the situation of economic and social vulnerability of women to sell their children to the kidnapping of the children. Children and surrogacy cannot be transformed into commodities. 
There is a class, ethnic, and also the relationship problem between peripheral and central countries. Poor and indigenous women, even more in peripheral countries, become involuntary children producer, producing containers, producer of children for middle and upper classes in their own countries or for central countries seeking for children in adoption. adoption. This can be equipped with trafficking, and trafficking is something that we have to discuss, to struggle together, because uh, uh, women's and children trafficking is international. Poor pursuiting pursuit of migration. Hmm? Uh, the Argentinian law, the Kirchnerist Argentinian law, established that to migrate is a human right. The, new, the new, new government, following United States directives, wants to change this. They want to put a, a, pers- a place to internet migration. That is against all what we think. Marxist feminists have to get involved Transnational financial capitalism generates new forms of, the, of domination to, see, to size the strategic, the strategic natural resources, causes, causes massive forces, population displacement, and a lot of violence. And the women and the children also are the, the focus of that violence. We must be in solidarity with this, those flying violence while denouncing these imperialist strategies. They are not um, confronting. We have to receive those refugees, it, and, but denounce that these refugees are because of the imperialistic, it's not a religious uh, problem, it's not uh, a, uh, an internal problem, it's the violence of capital, transnational financial capitalism that is bombing all around the, the world. I have a, a Rwanda boy that comes to my feminist, uh, popular feminist uh, classes and he explained me how is Rwanda used to exploit Congo's uh, natural resources. Well, the other problem that uh, um, 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 my colleague put in, in on the table, yes, uh, yes, 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 Sorry. is the development. We have to discuss development. What kind of development? And the difference development is the steps you have to take no? now and middle and long term to change this uh, uh, development and extractionist model. Mm? And the problem of peace. Mm? Uh, the right neoliberal, uh, neoliberal right-wing government wants to install two military bases in Argentina. We must oppose to these bases. We want in Argentina, in Latin America, a land of peace. All those are the uh, uh, military bases in, 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 in South America. Uh, we, were, uh, we think that war is part of the patriar- patriarchal capitalism, and that is a very important issue for us. No, I don't have time because but we have um, a solidarity movement with Palestinian women, Kurdish women, and Syrian women in, in Argentina, when I don't have time to do this. No, but uh, to finish, our utopia. Who knows nowadays what socialism is? Hmm? We only know that it has to be based on our collective solidarity and egalitarian gender, class, and ethnicity, feminist values. Mm? To start building our utopia, utopia, we have to ground it in our, our, uh, our own concrete and painful stories, interchange our stories. They are very painful, no? But we have to be uh, 
brave and speak about our history. What happened here, what is happening here in uh, Europe? Hmm? I would like to hear. I know something about caste, Indian caste, but I don't know much. I know something about upper tail uh, struggle, but I don't know much. Hmm? And all voices and all histories must be heard with the same value and respect building bridges and making our sto stories dialogue between each other. It is not easy, an easy path, but necessary. Thank you very much. <laughs>